Hey guys, it's Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I just wanted to walk you through some of the changes within the ClickSense Hub. So by now, you might have seen some promotional videos or informational blurbs in social media about the changes that are coming to the ClickSense Hub in regards to the navigation panel. So I'm just going to walk you through some of those changes briefly. So when you come into the ClickSense Hub, the first panel you will see here is the Getting Started panel. And this has some instructional videos on it, as well as demonstration apps. Now, if you come into the Hub for the second time, it's going to automatically bring you to the Home. It's not going to bring you to the Getting Started panel each time. Now, Home is where you can organize your apps and other content. You can click on Customize Your Home, and you can choose the information that you want displayed on your homepage whether it's favorites, collections, specific generated content, such as apps, data, charts, or even helpful resources. So if I just wanted to add the how do I section that we saw within getting started, I click that and you can see now I have it available and I could position it into place. Then we have catalog, and this is where the majority of the changes have taken place. There's no longer a space selector what you do have now is a space filter. So that's probably one of the most important areas that we've changed. So if you want to navigate to a different space, what you're going to do is then select the spaces button and then just choose the space that you want to be in. And that could be a data space, a shared space, or a managed space. So here I'll just move over to the development space for argument's sake. Now you'll notice that I have some filters such as the space and the apps filters that I checked. If I uncheck all of them, I can see everything. Going back to the space, this time selecting development, navigating to types. I'm just interested in looking at apps. I can also filter on owner, or I can just open up the filters panel and select all of them at one time or clear all. Now, another thing to point out is that if you are in a particular space, for example, once again, choosing development, if you want to manage permissions and users, we remove the gear icon and now you have a manage space button and you can select members, access data sources, edit space, delete space. So if I just wanted to go to member access and add members, I can do that very simply there. And then just click the back button. And then finally, there's collections. And collections are just groupings of your different assets and you can see there's generated collections, meaning collections of all the content that's created, as well as the resource collections, depending on how you want to organize it. Here, I just have a collection called mobile content. And anywhere where I added a particular app or data or link, I just said add to collection and I chose mobile content. So if you're not familiar with that process, I'll walk you through it real quick. For example, the sales dashboard, I just click this plus icon. And I want to, it's already in my mobile content. Maybe I want to put it into the favorites collection. Click done. And now when I navigate to collections and I go to favorites, my sales dashboard app is now there. Okay. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section, wherever this video is posted, whether in YouTube or the click community, and I'll be happy to accommodate. All right, guys, take care.